midges are out and uh welcome to another video it is late can you see the light is i'm losing this light big time mate it's uh it well it's cracking on a little bit it was an impromptu one uh, i'd had a bit of a tough day working and stuff and then i just thought it got to about seven and i thought Do you know what sack it chuck a bag together i fancy a dangling hammock so that's what i'm doing because of the nature of it, and because I was rushing, I can guarantee you, it's just a matter of what I've forgot. Not if I've forgot something, it's just what I've forgotten. Uh, <laughs> there's quite a lot of bugs. Um, keeping it relatively uh, stealth, I don't want a big fire. I've brought the bush box, so ideally I'll keep it, that's what I forgot, pan and a grill to cook my burgers in. Uh, we'll figure some out, but I'm gonna quickly I've seen these two trees, there's nothing, there's no sort of widow makers kicking about. So we'll string the hammock up here. My little garlic flowers, where do I put my garlic flowers? Put them there, look. A little bit of smidge, smidge, oh. Smidge Buchanan. Just a little bit goes a long way. It's not like it. Ow. It's not like it's them uh, military grade. <coughs> Scottish midges. It's just your bog standard, middle at road, Yorkshire midge. <laughs> and hopefully that'll just keep them at bay until, until it gets dark. Are you going to just watch me set it up? I guess you are, yeah. It's getting eaten to pieces. Absolutely mauled. Darth mauled. Right, it's too late on to be faffing. Oh, look, it's getting dark, mate. Uh, right, I'm going to go to a different spot. One that I've been to before, because I know that the trees work there, so let's go. Right, <laughs> it looks looks similar, because that's the sort of wood we're in. Well, here we go, this is a lot easier for me. A real basic hat one. That was a trauma, mate. Getting absolutely traumatised by midges. Losing light as well. Sorry for being erratic, but my God. This is as bad as I've ever had them. They're absolutely everywhere and they're crawling in my lug holes. They've got no respect for smidge. <laughs> ah. So, layer up. Princess layer up. Tuck in. They're getting all on me like hips and that as well. Just like a really shit game show where you've got to set up a hammock whilst getting peppered by midges. Didn't even have time to put my synergy blouse on it. So just like, get in quick. You know it's serious when you can't, when you don't, when you don't put the synergy blouse on. You're choking on them, man. It's torturous, I might have to get inside the hammock and hide. Uh, there's my hammock, I've got, <laughs> my Uberlite air bed in there with my Neutrino 600 sleeping bag, Rab. Same pillow, Trekology, my lantern in there. Um, it's the DD Super Light 3x3 tarp and the DD Frontline hammock. And I've got, uh, uh, I've swapped out the, the uh, suspension system and I've got whoopee slings and Carabiners, yeah, come here. Carabiner. These Amsteel whoopee slings. That's it, I think I've done. Oh, I put a ridge line in there, which is a diff which is a mod, but who doesn't do that? I just, normally I'd put my quick release toggles in and everything, but I was losing it because it midges. Losing my mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> This one I've just put into this stake, which goes into the ground and then there's this log here that stops it from going back. Uh, 
That's it, the dangler. Bonnie. Bonnie, old lass. I'll do a little stand for it, look. I won't stand for it. Bro, man. Right, I'm gonna have to get a fire going because these midges are uh, un. I can't get over it, man. They're absolutely savage. Right, let's do this quick. Okay, look, just listen. I need to level with you. I'm gonna cheat. And it isn't even cheating. It's just one of these from home. It's just wood, twisted uh, just shavings of wood in wax. Uh, it's what I use for my fire at home. Good quality, real quick, look at that. And, you know, normally I would be a bit more bushcraft about it, but these midges need to be taught a lesson. And that lesson is smoke, <laughs> hopefully. There you go, look, they don't like it up them, do they? Shitting it up, get out of here. Getting it loved, man. <laughs> right, come on. Let's be having you. Let's be having you. Delia. Because I can't deal you with this. Torturous, mate. God, you imagine if you couldn't. Imagine just if you couldn't deal with it, like if you couldn't light a fire or. You know, because I'm sure a little, that smidge is doing a little something. Well, it wouldn't, didn't seem like it. But if you're just out, right, I, it could, I reckon it could drive you to, his, like, hysteria, like, me, like madness. So imagine being out in Scottish Highlands, right? In peak midge season, with nothing to protect you. Oh, my God. It don't bear thinking about, does it? It don't bear thinking about. And I mean, I've been caught in a like caught by them like this, but although it is infuriating, it's not. You know, I can imagine getting caught in one of them. Like, so when we went to climb Ben Nevis to brew a northern monk beer, the, the midges were really bad at the halfway point. But we all had head nets and stuff. But imagine, I imagine if we didn't have head nets. You'd, you'd sort of want to just top yourself because it'd be too much. This is a cherry, this is actually a bird cherry. Ah, I was gonna show you, but it don't matter. That's actually a cherry tree, but this isn't. This is died many moons ago. Deadfall. Some other than this pine because it just burns over quick. Very labor intensive if you're just chilling. You buy a pine tree, it burns quite quick. Oh. Get some of this clobber on. It's getting on a little bit. I don't really want a big fire. No point. No point. This will sustain me. I'll be buzzing, buzzing when these midges do. There you go. That'll keep me going for a little bit. Oh. Get that smoke on me. Ah. Yeah, they don't like the fire. That's they've really gone. They've eased up massively. That's a real joy. <laughs>
Do you know what, like, in life, ah, <laughs> how fawns. Come here, like how good I feel now after, because I don't have midges on me, it, after just having like an hour of them all in my lugs, my face, all up, all up me, all, all on me. To then not have them is an absolute joy. But I wouldn't know this joy unless I'd had the midges on me. And it's difficult at times to go through your life always acting like you don't have midges on you. If you know what I mean. But sometimes, maybe, it'd be nice when things are going a little bit, maybe a bit shit at work or you've had an argument with your partner or whatever, kids are doing you nothing. Just sit there and be like, at least, I'm not trying to put a hammock up with a cloud of midges eating me. That's my top tip for day that. That's top tip for this one. That's all I've got. <laughs> That's all I've got. Freestyled it for you. Put them in there. Oh, they won't go. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Always be grateful you're not getting midged. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. You've been wonderful. I don't have any boozer out. Again. I've been feeling it at the moment, just not been. Just been enjoying not having any booze. For all you moon fans, it's a new moon today, which means it's the darkest that the moon will be. And usually means that the stars, well, it does mean that the stars are a lot more visible. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed. It's not forecast, it's forecast cloudy all night, but they get these things wrong. And so I'm hoping that the stars reveal themselves up in this canopy and we can get some good night shots. Maybe some good time lapses of them twinkly bitches. And you shouldn't really call them that, but I have, and that's too late. But I respect all stars. <laughs> hey. This is the life, in it. This is, I better keep this tucked in because I know there are, I've had ticks around here before, quite a few times actually, so. I don't fancy it. I'm looking forward to a night in Dangler. It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Something happened recently where I've did my, my lower back in, so I think a night in Dangler might be good for it. To be fair, I could just go to sleep here, mate, and just let the ticks feast on my face. There we are. Right, can you see me? Chew on in it at night. It's a chew, it's a chew at night to be fair. Rocking the uh, McCallum blades. I've got a bit of common yeah, common hazel that I'm going to fashion into a skewer for my burger. Doesn't need to be that long, does it? Like that, but something like, something like that. Oh, back off, because that's where it... That's right will be chest lever. <laughs> there you go. Look, <laughs> is that bushcraft? What? I think I might have done some bushcraft, guys. Venison burgers from the Dorset Meat Company. Shout out Dorset Meat Company. I've told you the story, but if you don't know, I'd reached out to the Dorset Meat Company because I was looking for some grass-fed beef. Good quality clobber. Because uh, I didn't want to just, I don't, I can't handle poor quality meat. So I just, um, they kindly give me a little discount code for your first order. I'll, it's there and I'll leave, the, I'll leave all the links down below. So go check out the um, Dorset Meat Company if you're 
if you fancy upping your meat game and having something more a little bit better than what the supermarkets spit out look at that man la venison smells good la venison burger um how am i going to do this do you think i'm going like that we'll just thread her on look like that that's what i'm dealing with here hopefully it won't crumble and having it just like that look hands-free burger hands-free burger cooking ut uh, system that i've got and uh if you are interested uh i'll leave a link below to these burger cooking utensils um they're in my amazon shop check them out a trio of tomatoes look at them look at that Don't they look bonny look it's got some show off tomatoes there's not much point in you just blinding me is there for the sake of just watching a watching a burger cook hey guys put in the comments below what you call this what would you call that would you call it um tony or right said bread now because for me it's always been a bread bun can you even see me what happened with all this going on for me it's a bread bun some people call them uh, bread cakes cobs if you're calling it a cob get out uh, if you're calling it a cake if you're calling it a bread cake as well I'm afraid get out because it's a bun bread bun Burger bun. It's not a burger cake, is it? I'll move. Hey guys, put down below in the comments what you call it. Let's get a little dialogue going, huh? Let's argue about whether it's called a bread bun or not. It's a bit flat like, a bit of a witch's teat, but that's that's life. That's bag life for you. Should I toast it a little bit? I'll put it down here next to what we've got on top of all this ash and bits of pine so it can get a little bit of nature's seasoning how's burger looking what is that she's looking good ish cheese have some onion in there mate look at that yeah proper dad barbecue in that innit get on I reckon that's about that's that. That's about that. To keep it warm. Oh. Yes. Let's just do it like that. Then. Can't be too prissy when you're out in woods, can you? Bit of fancy tomato. Some green stuff. Oh, and picked up some wild garlic. On my way in, sprigs of that around there just for like a seasoning. Pretty as a picture. Do, 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 do. Another cheese look. Absolutely, why not? Soften that cheese up a little bit. Wild venison burger. Wild venison cheeseburger with wild garlic, tomatoes, onions, cheese, and all that gear. Mouth leaking. <sighs> Absent friends. That's see very good, but oh my word, that's good. <laughs> 
that's a good burger. Mmm, them little flowers of wild garlic are pungent. Welcome little flavour bombs. Certainly beats a freeze dried meal. You having it or what? Of course you are. I've actually got another bread bun so I might reload and have another one. As you should do at any good bar, this is my barbecue anyway. And at any good barbecue, you need to be reloading at least once. Well, I can only reload once, but that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to be repeating, repeat a dockety, what I've just done. So you don't need to see that. <laughs> it's this time of year, the stars don't come out till quite late on, so... I'll chill around the bush box. It's quite labour intensive, the old bush box, so... I'll chill for a little bit around it. Um, and then I'm going to get in Dangler. It's totally clouded over. So, there it is. I suspected as much, but you have to, you have to try, don't you? Just in case. You're going to get so many new moons in your life. Anyway, that's fine. What I can do, if you don't mind, I shall interject with some previous nighttime shots that I've taken. We'll roll them and see you on the morrow. Good morning. Slept well, nice and warm. The Uber light isn't as warm as the um, X-Therm, which is to be expected. It wasn't super cold, but I had to fold my sleeping bag underneath myself just to take the edge off. Let's have a look at you. Not a bad morning. I could happily just dangle in here. In fact, you know I'm gonna. Not go back to sleep, but it's just nice, mate. And I have just been lying here for a while. There was a cuckoo over yonder doing its doing what cuckoos do. Ah, oh, midges are out again. Yeah, I'm gonna go find some water to dunk dunk it. Oh man, they're getting me. Get out of here. Hide! Oh, I tell you what, I've said it before. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The best thing about sleeping in the woods is waking up in the woods. Waking up in a hammock especially is delightful. And it rained last night. It had the pitter patter of rain on the tarp. Nothing too heavy. Just the perfect amount. Wonderful. Simple. What do midges actually bring to, to, like, to the table? Really though. Are they good for the ecosystem? What eats them? Because all I can see is like, it's like they're broken. It's like they're like, there's something wrong with them. They should just be like living on f dead fruit or whatever, but they've just lost it and they're like, all right, we just live off blood now. They're like zombies, aren't they? Get zombies. Right. Let's get this put away.
give them a little bit more flesh to feast on before I go because you know midge is a part of it <laughs> they're part of it aren't they as well look at them all come on fill your boots have a nice snack because I've got to get going it's just like going to uh, like a petting zoo where you feed like sheep and that look at them get tucked in get tucked in good gear that as well that'll be good gear because I've been looking after myself recently oh man maybe that's why they're getting me so much I've got decent blood it's not just full of northern monk and bad decisions and stuff like that that's what I that's what I had my fire on so done absolutely zero three. <laughs> we're getting there look Still got it, mate, still got it. Fest, it's in ears as well, isn't it? They're relentless. Oh, they're just animals uh, doing their thing. A midge will midge. I'm just gonna go find somewhere to have a swim. <laughs> just to go wet me sen up a little bit. Yeah, go check out the Dorset Meat Company below. Um, that's where I've been getting all my gear from, my uh, grass-fed gear. So, yeah, go check them out. I think there's a code for a little bit of a, a discount from your first order. So, and that's it, man. I've just, I can't. <laughs> Normally, I just try, I, you know, I like to give you a little bit of love and some, uh, you know, leave on a positive note, but I can't focus properly because midges are all in lug oils. See you later! <laughs> So, I'll just say, now but love to you. It's hard with this camera, mate, just to do stuff like this. Yeah, the new growth on these pines are very nutritious, a great wild edible. Mmm. Very tasty as well. Top tip. I fell over! Oh, I just fell over mate. Oh, I wish you got it on camera. Well slippy. I don't know what's going on here. Right, I'm off in, see you in a bit. <laughs> yes! Ah! Brand new mate! Brand new! I'm going to leave this one here because it's, it's quite a trek out and uh, I'll be gassed out by the time I get up there. Thanks as always for watching if you still are. <laughs> I've enjoyed this one. It's been uh, just a, a simple, easy, lovely little hammock camp. Destroyed by the midges. But for every second of today that I'm not getting eaten by midges, I'll be grateful. And that's the lesson. Just be grateful. <laughs> Because it could always be a lot worse, mate. It could always be a lot worse. I've got some landscaping work coming up, so I don't know when I'm next going to see you. I might be having a little break for a bit. But uh, you lot play safe. Look after you. You lot play safe. Look after yourselves and each other. And I shall see you soon. Now I must stay out of trouble. Au revoir.
<laughs> See ya!